this is Electronic TV and here with me is the wonderful Magda. Hi. Hello, all the way from Berlin, uh, who's obviously playing at Plastic Man tonight for the Richie Horton gig. So tell me about it, how's the tour going? Um, I'll tell you tomorrow. It's just starting for me. Oh, today. it's just starting for you. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we were told you know there's there's various different artists come in at different times, so it keeps it varied. So uh, we had a few shows already actually. Yeah. Um, in Spain and a few other places. It was it was great. Really nice. Originally from Poland, yeah. then you moved to Detroit. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, tell me how growing up in Detroit was. Um. It was rough at first, but it was amazing. I mean, once I discovered uh, all the little underground scenes and yeah. clubs and happenings, it was amazing. Did you like a sponge just soaking it all up, ready yeah, to... Yeah, it was just such chaos and craziness all around. Um, so what would, a typical, what would a typical party be like then? It really depended on where you went, which neighborhood, what kind of party. Right. A techno party or a little loft club with drag queens. Right. It, it, so it could be anything. It's all very interesting, Excellent. to say the least. So do you think that sort of was like the, uh, you know, you know, how, how the framework for you sort of like moving in the direction of, of DJing? Oh, definitely. Um, that's where I discovered um, techno and the music I like and started buying records. And here I am. And here you are. <laughs> So what made you think, do you know what, I'm absolutely loving this music scene, you, I, I, think I, could, I think I can do this, when did you think, do you know what, I can do this? Um, it started kind of early on, I got a little overconfident, Right. So, yeah, I'm going to DJ and do parties. Because you've got to give respect to like female DJs, you really have. It's been a tough road though, I mean it took a long time. Right. Um, was it hard at, to get... Like, at first it was really easy, Right. but then it wasn't very good. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I kind of realized, okay, I'm going to take a step back and really actually figure out what it is I want to do with this. Yeah. Um, so that was good because I think when I first started, I was just trying to get bookings. Right. Making mixtapes. Yeah. <laughs> for promoters to book me. That's right. really stuff I genuinely liked. So, yeah. Once I kind of figured it out, uh, it, was, it was nice. You've spent a lot of time in Ibiza. How did how did you how did you meet Richie? Also? Um, we met in Detroit actually. Uh, we have mutual friends. So, uh, uh, yeah, just like that really. And I started working for the label. Okay. Uh, how long have you been with the label now? Forever. <laughs> um, since '98. Wow, wow, that is a long time. I mean, now I'm not on the label anymore. Right. But, um, no, we're still all of them. Yeah, you're still all friends and like do stuff together and things like that. So you then you from Detroit, then you moved to is it Texas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How was Texas? Oh, it was fun. I mean, I just came over from Poland, so right. everything was crazy and interesting. Uh, it was nice. The weather was good. So yeah, I really loved it. So when we actually moved to Detroit, I, I was crying. It was right. Really yeah. ugly when we arrived and oh. really cold in the yeah. middle of winter nasty do you think that's why then that there is so many of these like cool sort of different happening parties because yeah it's freezing number one people have to entertain themselves in some sort of manner i don't think it's the weather i think it's the whole environment um and the vibe of the city right it's um you know it's like a ghost town mm. it's really run down in many areas um, but that's what makes it kind of it's edgy. It's got this magic it's to it. It's got this yeah. edge to it. It's raw and um, the music comes from it echoes that. You can yeah. really feel something is there. Um, it has a lot of soul. Yeah. So. I see. So you spent time in New York as well, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, with all the sort of minus guys, is that right? Uh, I lived there before. Uh, I finished yeah. school for about a year and a half and then again uh, later on with the Mike's guys. Right, yeah. So so now you're in Berlin, mm -hmm. which is, you know, another place that I'm very jealous of because it's amazing. But how do the sort of scenes compare to what uh, you know, sort of uh, in, in sort of Europe to, to America? Um it's very different. Very different. Um, is it? Yes. I think mainly what makes it different is uh, the fact that in Berlin 
it's open end. Yes. No, the clubs don't really have to close. No. Everyone's pretty laid back, including mm. security. Mm. Um, and that's the one thing I didn't like about parties in America. Yes. Yeah. Security being so tough with people unnecessarily, yeah, and weird dancing laws and fine dancing laws. Oh yeah, like, in New York. In, in what sense? Like, what is that? What is yeah, that? I had a night in New York, yeah. and um, it was a smaller bar, and uh, most smaller bars couldn't afford to get this dancing license that they what? enforced. Yeah, and so you can't dance. That is crazy. You get a huge fine. Really? Yeah. I think I'd be fine. Totally. Because if the train comes on, a track comes on, I have to but dance. But it was to it. a techno night. So <laughs> oh my gosh! But really? people would dance, obviously. Yeah. So I had a light bulb in my booth, and if the cops came, you just started oh, flashing so wow. that everyone stopped dancing. It was like footloose. Like, oh my gosh! Yeah. That is insane. I, I didn't know <laughs> that. He learned something new, obviously. But that that is pretty crazy. That is a techno night, and then you know what? That was dance. weird. That was weird. <laughs> So Berlin obviously is a little bit more laid back, which does warrant for a better party, clearly, because you don't have to worry about that sort of stuff. But what has the scene changed like, obviously, you know, when you first started going out mm -hmm. to like current day? Um, I, I think these days a lot of people come over from all over Europe. Yeah. Uh, it's very easy to get there for the weekend, very cheap. So um, I think the scene is very international now. Yes. Um, Whereas in the past, when we arrived, it was pretty local. Yeah. Um, I felt it was a bit crazier back then. Right. I don't know, people were just wild, insane. Because um, it was new, I guess. I mean, to us, it was new. Maybe yeah. we're just used to it now as yeah. well. Um, but the good thing about Berlin is there's always something new happening, a new party, a new club. Really amazing venues everywhere. Yeah. Really cool for everything. Um, it just looks better. To be fair, I think, and the bars, I think the you know the, the sort of decor and everything, it's just it, it is, and it's nice. Everyone is chilled out and friendly. It's something for everyone. Yeah, it is. It's important. So, so what is playing on uh, your say iPod or whatever now? What do you like to listen to right now? Oh, depends which day, which mood. I a lot of uh, like ambient stuff. A lot of I've been listening to a lot of Jan Jelinek lately right. and. Um, so is that to have a break from what you, you normally I play? I never or? listen to techno at home, rarely. You don't? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I need different stuff, definitely. Absolutely. I understand what you mean because I'm kind of similar in that sense. Like, I'll listen to like Etta James or whatever at home, and when I go out, I'm like listening to... This morning, to Nina Simone. Me too! Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> like... You, you've mentioned uh, your album coming out, what kind of influence or what kind of sort of style is that going to be? Is it going to be similar to what we've heard before? Or? Um, it, it won't be like my last album, which was quite melodic. Um, I think this one will be a little more dirty, more right. bass-driven, more, more bass I guess. Okay. Um, but also a bit weirder. <laughs> it's, it's hard to say. It sounded good to me. It sounded good to me. It's, it's so funny when I first, um, obviously because I, I listened to your music and then when I saw you, it was just like this tiny little thing playing like the dirtiest <laughs> sounds. I was just like, this is amazing. <laughs> kind of adds to the whole Magda package, I think.